Marshall McMahon. I'm the set and costume designer. I grew up in Williams Lake and I live in Vancouver now. Yeah, so I've been uh, with Corey since before he started working on this show, so I was uh, watching him come up with the earliest stages of the idea of this show, and uh, was we did a lot of the research for it together, so uh, doing road trips, sort of traveling around, mostly around BC, going up to Kamloops, and also Williams Lake, where I'm from, uh, visiting some of the uh, old buildings of the residential schools, talking to survivors, and I started the project that way, doing all the same, all the same research that's gone into it. Last year we did a workshop production in Kamloops, and that was really helpful for us to inform a lot of the design choices, and not just to uh, be able to imagine things, but to really try them out and to put on a full production. So in that version in Kamloops, we did have uh, a full set and full costumes and lighting as well. That was a really great chance to try out uh, some different looks and experiment with some of the things we were trying to do with color and with uh, the space transforming for how we wanted to stage different scenes in, in a really fluid way that didn't involve moving a lot of set pieces around but was doing subtle shifts with lighting and with how the space was used. The main set piece is, uh, as you know, is the two drops, two big painted drops of these ominous uh, clouds. They are torn away diagonally in a way that uh, has some symbolism of a big tear, but it also creates a negative space of black underneath that can read as the uh, silhouette of the hills against the sky. The design is essentially the same for the York and the NAC. It's uh, just adapting to the different size of the space is the main thing, and also just a different uh, arrangement of a different relationship between the stage and the audience. It started from the idea of uh, sunrise coming up over the horizon, over the mountains. And that was the first image in the show, in the script that Corey wrote. One thing that's really, uh, that we've always known was really important was we wanted to break out of this proscenium and break that fourth wall with the set so that the, the drops continue off the stage and out into the audience in this, uh, in an embrace kind of shape. It's about creating that connection with the audience and inviting them to join. There's a certain unity to the look that you can get of the whole piece when you are designing both the set and the costumes. It's in the color palette, it's in the textures, the way that things shift chronologically through the show from moment to moment. So it's really a treat to get to do both and create that look of the whole piece. It actually is a perfect medium for it because the power of the music is such a great tool for delving into this extremely tragic and horrendous chapter of our history in a way that makes it palatable and accessible. And I really think that for people trying to incorporate uh, these ideas of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and just what we need to do moving forward as a country. Coming and seeing this show is a really great step towards making that move forward.